Hey everybody, it's Eddie here. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. I'm gonna be sharing everything that you need to know, how to transfer funds and how to set one up. So if that sounds interesting, definitely stick around. So we've all heard of the phrase, not your keys, not your crypto. That means that if you hold your crypto on an exchange or an app like Crypto.com, you technically do not own it. For example, in my Crypto.com app, I have around 28.7K. Now, technically, although it's under my name, under my account, on my phone, I do not own it. Instead, who owns it? Crypto.com. And what I'm doing is I'm trusting these centralized exchanges like Crypto.com to hold and keep my funds safe. So the question is, how do you have full ownership of your cryptocurrencies? And that is where the Crypto.com DeFi wallet comes into play, where you own your own private key and seed phrases. Now, the Crypto.com DeFi wallet is great for existing Crypto.com users, but people who do not use Crypto.com can use this wallet as well. The first thing you're going to have to do is download the app onto your phone, and then you're going to have to set up an account, which I'm going to show step by step towards the end of this video. The first thing I'm going to do is kind of walk through the app, show the transferring process, and then I'll share the pros and cons of holding your crypto on a non-custodial wallet like Crypto.com DeFi wallet versus the Crypto.com app. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you set up your account, you're going to click on the top left corner, and then you're going to be able to connect the app to the wallet going through a verification process through your email. Once that's done, the next step is to transfer your cryptocurrency from your app to your wallet. For this example, I'm going to be sending all of my Cardano into my wallet. I'm going to click on Cardano, transfer, withdraw. And this is the great thing about the Crypto.com ecosystem. It's all connected. I'm going to click on Crypto.com DeFi wallet, choose Cardano. Now, typically when you send one cryptocurrency to another exchange, you'll have to choose their native network or the options that they have. In this case, because I'm sending it through the Kronos or Crypto.com ecosystem, you're going to be choosing the Kronos network. The amount, I'm going to choose the max, click on withdraw. The fee is going to be around 0.18 ADA, which is only about like 10 cents at the time of making this video, which is extremely cheap. I'm going to click on confirm. And now my Cardano that was on my crypto.com app that crypto.com technically owned has been transferred over to my crypto.com DeFi wallet, which now I have full ownership of. For me, this transfer took about two minutes. I always recommend sending a smaller amount first, just so you get an idea before you send a larger amount. This means that I can sell, send, withdraw my crypto to anyone, anytime without anyone's permission. This also means that crypto.com cannot freeze your account. They can't pull your money out if they wanted to. The government cannot have access to your funds or even the greatest hacker in the world will not be able to hack your DeFi wallet unless they have your seed phrases, which I'll talk towards the end of this video. Now, let's say that you have crypto on an outside exchange like KuCoin, which if you do use my link down below, you can get a $25 bonus when you make a trade of $100, which I'm about to do right now, and you can get up to a $500 bonus. I'm gonna select the current price of ADA. Let's do 50%, which is around 403 ADA, worth $189 by ADA, and then order has been successfully placed, and within 10 business days, $25 will be deposited into your account. Also, KuCoin will be choosing four random winners that use my link link to win $250 each. Those of you that used my link last week, here are the winners. So congratulations for the four winners that won $250 each, and I'll be announcing the winners from this week next week. Also, for a limited time, KuCoin will be giving away new users free USDT into their account. All you got to do is click on the link that I have down below, follow the instructions, fill out the form, and KuCoin will be depositing the bonus into your account. So now that I bought Cardano in my KuCoin account, I want to transfer it into my Crypto.com DeFi wallet because technically, I do not own the Cardano on the KuCoin account. KuCoin technically does. Now, in order to do this, I have to click on withdraw, click on Cardano, and then I have to enter the wallet address and the network is going to be Cardano. I'm going to click on receive, click on Cardano, and then I'm going to click on network. But unfortunately, the Cardano network is not supported on the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. It's only the Kronos beta and the BNB smart chain. Usually, if you send something like Polkadot and you click on network, it'll support the Polkadot network. But in Cardano's case, it does not. So I'm going to have to send my Cardano from my KuCoin account into my Crypto.com account. And then from my crypto.com app transfer to the DeFi wallet. So right now I'm inside my crypto.com app. I'm going to click on transfer, deposit, crypto, scroll down and find Cardano. Click on the Cardano network, copy this address, and then I'm going to paste the address into my KuCoin account. Click on the max amount. 
the fee is going to be one ADA, click on withdraw. And now my withdrawal process should have started. So my Cardano for my KuCoin account will come into my crypto.com app. And then for my crypto.com app, I'm gonna transfer it into the DeFi wallet like I showed before. Now the crypto.com app has a ton of nice features, which I'm not gonna go over all of it, but I'll go over a few, right? So they have a swap option. This is where you can swap one token to another. So for example, I'm gonna click on USDC to select the token that I want. So Cardano to let's just do something simple like Ethereum select and let's pretend I'm swapping all of my Cardano to Ethereum I'd be getting around 2.36 Ethereum and I'm going to go ahead and click on swap but it's not going to swap and that is because I do not have any CRO tokens in my wallet so in order to make swaps you do need to hold some CRO tokens within the DeFi wallet or some Ethereum depending on what you're swapping but this is the nature of DeFi and using a decentralized exchange versus a centralized one if you are a longtime believer in the CRO token well you can stake it on the crypto.com DeFi wallet and earn interest on it so so far I'm earning around 10% I only have $31 worth of crypto.com coin earned so far three dollars and 67 cents i'll probably do a little bit more later on but this helps secure and support the chronos network now if you're wondering should i just keep my funds in the crypto.com app or do i have to transfer all my funds over to the DeFi wallet well i'm going to be going over the pros and cons of both and it is up to you what you want to do the first pro is that it's easy and convenient to buy sell transfer and store your crypto and even track your crypto just in one app the second pro is that sometimes we're talking sometimes right if crypto.com loses your funds they will sometimes return your fund especially if it was their fault on their end this is very unlikely to happen but it could happen right in most cases companies like crypto.com they hold around 90 percent of our cryptocurrencies in cold storage so in most cases it's pretty safe the con of holding your crypto on the crypto.com app is that it can get hacked and maybe crypto.com will not return your funds right the other one is that it's a centralized exchange so technically again like i repeated it is not your crypto you do not own it technically crypto.com owns it and you're trusting that they will keep your funds safe also during high volatility and volume crypto.com could pause buying or selling or even withdrawal so they have the power to do that because they again they are a centralized exchange so think of holding your crypto in the crypto.com app like holding cash in a bank technically you're trusting that the bank will keep your cash safe now the biggest difference is the bank is fdic insured whereas your crypto is not now the pro of holding your crypto on a non-custodial wallet like the crypto.com DeFi wallet is that you are in full ownership of your crypto this means that you own it you can control it no one can take it away from you if the crypto.com app decides to pause withdrawals or pause transfer or pause anything or say it crashes technically you still have your funds safe within the crypto.com DeFi wallet where you can transfer it withdraw it and sell it now although the pros may sound great there still is a con to this right because you are fully responsible for your cryptos and your key and your seed phrases and all of that if you lose it right if you lose it or someone steals it then your crypto is stolen and lost forever there's no one you can report back to to get your funds back for example let's say you lost your password to your crypto.com app login right where all your crypto is you could probably go through some verification process to get your password back and you can log back in on the other hand if i lose my seed phrases or my private keys then technically there's no one that can give my seed phrases back because i am fully responsible for it crypto.com does not have my seed phrases the government does not have my seed phrases only i do so when you own a non-custodial wallet think of it as owning a safe in your house and only you know the combinations to unlock that safe if you forget the combinations to unlock your safe then technically your funds or your money is gone forever it's not gone it's just locked up and you just can't have access to it so there are pros and cons to everything right there are people who are strictly not your keys not your crypto and only use non-custodial wallets so they'll buy crypto on an exchange and transfer it immediately and there are those that just dollar cost average every day every week every month in an exchange and just hold it there it's really going to come down to you and what kind of investor or person you are so if you're someone who is responsible and think that you can keep and manage your seed phrases and your private keys sure i think this is a great way to go but if you're someone who always forgets things and loses things i don't know you got to kind of weigh the options there next i'm going to delete the crypto.com DeFi wallet app from my phone so i can show you how to set everything up from the beginning and i'm going to clarify the whole seed phrase thing because if this is your first time setting one up you're probably very you know extremely confused what the heck is this seed phrase thing 
it's all going to make sense in just a minute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the DeFi wallet, delete app, and it's gone. I'm gonna go ahead and re-download it. So this is going to be a really good example on how you can recover your wallet if you ever break your phone, lose your phone, or get it stolen. But we're gonna go ahead and just set one up for now. So I'm gonna click on open. I will go over the welcome message, a crypto wallet that gives you full control of your crypto and your keys. It's gonna be secure. You're gonna be using your 2FA and your face ID as well. Send your crypto at preferred confirmation speed and network fees. And connect your crypto.com DeFi wallet to the crypto.com app, which I already showed you guys. So the first thing that you're gonna do is click on create a new wallet, and then you're gonna have to create a passcode. And then I highly recommend you enable face ID and 2FA. Now this next step is going to be very important. It's gonna share the key to your assets. If your recovery phrase is misspelled or stolen, it's the equivalent of losing your wallet. It's the only way to access your wallet if you forget your account password. Safe keep your phrase. Do not share your recovery phrase with anyone. It cannot be reset and crypto.com does not have access to it. Write down your recovery phrase and keep it in a secure offline location. Do not store screenshots of it online. And then you're going to go ahead and click on back up my recovery phase. And then it's going to give you 12 words. So I'm going to go ahead and click on reveal my recovery phrase. And it's going to show you your first word. Now you're going to click on each box all the way until 12 and write those words down in order. That is very, very important. Also, you make sure you write one already, two lizard, three give, and I'm not going to go through the rest. But once you make it all the way to 12, you're going to click on continue. And then it's going to give you four blank slots where it's going to ask you what word was in that number. You're going to enter it in and congratulations, you have created your own wallet. Now, let's say in the future, I either lose my phone or get it stolen or I get a new phone. Then I'm going to have to re-download the crypto.com DeFi wallet and I have to import my existing wallet onto that new device. Check the box and click continue. You're going to have to create a new passcode, enable face ID and enable to FA. And then it's going to ask me to import my wallet restore with recovery phrase. And then you're going to have to write down the 12 words you wrote down in order when you first set up your wallet. Now I'm not going to show you this process because that means I'm going to be revealing my seed phrases to you. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my seed phrases and I'll get right back to you. All right. So all my words have been written down. I'm going to click on restore, choose my wallet name. We'll call it Eddie DeFi. And there we go. My wallet has been recovered and all my crypto is still there. So that is how you set up a crypto.com DeFi wallet and how to restore store one if you ever lose it. Well, with that said, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Question for you all. Are you using the crypto.com DeFi wallet or are you considering setting up one after you watched this video? I'll see you guys in the next video over. Good night, good morning. Adios.